Gonna do some tests here, like a mic check. I wanted to make sure that the audio is gonna sync up properly, as well as the music volume and everything. We're gonna get started in just a moment here. Right, let me check this properly, as well as the music volume and everything. We're gonna get started. Perfect. Perfect. It's perfecto. Gonna do some streaming. Gonna do some streaming today. Kappa, 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 kappa. <laughs> How's it going, Curse? Curse, Jen. The man of the hour, Christian. The man himself, the Christian. And today we begin with something. Get out there, monkey. Proper artist, how you doing, proper artist? We're doing some painting today. We're painting our Kappa, proper artist. How you doing, proper? I've missed you, man. I've missed your streams. I've missed the proper. Putting some paints on my plate. I think I fixed my audio sync issues, so my lips should actually look like they're synced in time. I think I fixed it. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm sorry to hear that, proper artist, but in the Mossiverse, we'll do anything we can to make your mind a better place. Really, really enjoyed um, checking out the end of the the red bubble stuff, the Retroni stuff. Oh man, I totally know what you mean. This is totally a different persona that I, I put on to become a different person. It's hard. It's hard to to be that kind of personality if you're you're in a bad mood. <gasps> Pixel Carnage, how you doing? Cap of Pride. We're just getting started here. I'm putting all my paints on my plate. My gorgeous golden acrylic paints. But proper, the nice thing about this community is is we're really supportive. We're we're here for you, proper artist. We're here. Oh, I wanted to do a test. I wanted to do a test here. Unico, you are an amazing Stardust Meatball, and together we can create anything. Thank you for being here. We have some awesome people already hanging out in the chat. Unico, Proper Artist, Pixel Carnage, Curse Gen. Gold! <laughs> I'm doing great, Unico. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? You awesome Stardust Meatball, you. I already got paint all over my my jacket. That's what it's for. All right, let's get to paint. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Proper artist is the real you. Yeah, man. NME. He's gonna come out. <laughs> well, we accept you, whoever you are. And it's 12 o'clock. Time to stream. Ah, it was, it was an exclamation mark, not a question. We're working on our kappa today. 
for the Create a Kappa project down here. Reddit.com slash r twitch creative. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna fix right now, proper artist. I can't stand his eyes. Cannot stand his eyes. Wait, what? 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 Come here, Nightbot. I need your assistance, Nightbot. I require Nightbot in my channel because we are getting spam. We are getting the spam. <laughs> we will fix the staring into the soul, don't worry. So, orange light from the left here. Put some on the eyes. Yeah, that's, that's something I totally forgot, proper artist. Check to see if Nightbot is actually here. Oh, Unico, thank you for that host, my man. You rock. By the way, all you guys in here, there's some amazing streamers. There's not that many of you guys, but you guys need to follow each other. Proper Artist does acrylic oil. I always say that. He does oil on stream. Unico has been drawing on stream. You guys gotta check him out. Give him a follow. Time to support me. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I love the Twitch community. We're all so supportive of each other. We're gonna do amazing things together here on Twitch. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to be doing Feedback Friday, so if you guys have any work that you guys want to talk about or get some feedback on, feel free to tweet me. We'll talk about it tomorrow on the stream. Oh wow! I didn't know. I didn't know any of that actually. Uh, I knew about the Dan and Waffle thing, but I was not here for it. <laughs> One thing that I was really happy to see last night, uh, proper artist. Speaking of Twitch creative blowing up, uh, Death Sculpt had over 1,600 viewers uh, last night. It was amazing, incredible. So cool that there's so many awesome people out there supporting the Twitch creative community. But they don't know about it, so people like Dan and Waffle, when they bring people in here, they'll stay. So each time it explodes, it's going to get bigger and bigger. He had 3k at one point? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Good for him, man. Death Sculpt is an awesome dude. Totally deserves it. Totes, my goats. All right. Foiter, how you doing, Foiter? You amazing meatball made of stardust, you. I miss you too. I missed you too. I love all my Stardust meatballs. It was so hard for me to go away for a week. Ridiculous, but so true. How are you doing, Foiter? Oh, proper artists, don't even, I, I wouldn't even trip about that. I think it's amazing that um, there's now a place for a streamer to do that, like build a computer, build furniture. Uh, but it's also bringing awareness to all the other painters, the sculptors out there. I think it's awesome. Although I did hear there was a lot of trolling going on on July 4th, but, you know, that's Twitch. Gotta deal with it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, oh man, Poos. Yeah, poor Poos. He was probably moderate in a way. <laughs> Oh, Foiter, that is awesome to hear that you're doing well. Your busy day is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, what are you doing tomorrow? Partying? Are you partying? Yeah, you're totally right, Pixel Carnage. Unfortunately, that is the case with the internet. But what's awesome about building a community is you build you build kind of a firewall against that by having such an awesome community uh, that supports it. Yes, you are partying. Go to the aquarium. Oh my gosh, that sounds like fun. Take pictures or paint. Paint some paint some fishies. Dino, how you doing, Dino? You amazing Stardust Meatball, you. Welcome back to the Massiverse. We're working on our Kappa today. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you? Well, Foiter, the only way to get better with something like painting is to actually do it. There was this really good uh, quote, um, oh, what, what was it? The other day I, I was like, a master has tried 10,000, uh, has failed 10,000 times where um, an apprentice hasn't even started or tried yet. So you have to fail so many times before you can even, you can even do something that you're, you're proud of. I know, I know. <laughs> Oh, Unico, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a uh, creative partnership. Um, and what, no, 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 not called partnerships. Um, stream team? I guess it's a stream team. That is my hope. We're going to have constant creative streaming going on. <laughs> I did see your plane, Dino. That looked like it was a lot of fun to fly. I didn't see the, the video, unfortunately. I didn't have enough time for that. But the, the plane, man, that must be fun to fly. <laughs> have a cactus cooler. Take it and go. Take it. Take it and go. <laughs> I sound just like it. Well, Fonter, that's because I love watching Death Sculpt. <laughs> Anytime that uh, his follower notification goes off, it just makes me a little happy inside. The dancing dinosaur. <laughs> Fix those eyes. Fix the eyes. Stop playing around with the face here. Alright, can fix those eyes now. And I also, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Could be about art, life in general. I'm here for you. My music isn't. <laughs> Oh, is that the requirement, Unico? Okay, well, 
the first artistic streamer that gets a partnership is we're gonna make we're gonna make a community together. <laughs> you guys watch too many streamers. Gosh, I'm the same way. <laughs> totally the same way. Jack Neutron, how are you doing, you amazing meatball made of stardust? You welcome on into the Massiverse, a place of positive creativity where you can do anything with the power of our amalgamative consciousness. How are you, Technotron? Alright, let's fix these eyes. I'm gonna fix the eyes. Fix those eyes here. Oh, you can see my plate. You can see my, my nice ceramic plate. No longer the paper plate. I have to find some glass, though. <laughs> Gotta find a glass palette. Good thing you're a mindless man. <laughs> On Twitch, you have the power of everyone's mind. You just have to tap into it. Okay, I'm gonna add some shadow to the top there. Do blue. Oh, Unico, uh, for the creative section, it's totally different guidelines uh, for being partnered. Uh, Death Sculpt was partnered a few months ago uh, with barely um, three or 4,000 followers. So it really depends on, on what the game, what the category is. So for creative, you just have to have original content. You have to be broadcasting a lot. I think it's totally different for the uh, the creative community. Bacardi Panda, how you doing Bacardi Panda? Welcome on in, you amazing meatball you. By the way, can you guys hear the piano all right? Barely. Barely. No, oh, darker blue, darker blue. <laughs> awesome. The only thing I'm really looking forward to with the partnership is the thing that Unico mentioned where you get a, a band of streamers together. If I ever do get a partnership, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Bring a bunch of artists together under one, uh, one creative title or something like that, creative crew or something like that. We'll have to think of a name, have to think of a name here. Be ready for it. chat is too small <laughs> it's 
Stardust team. That's a great idea. <gasps> Ron Freeman! Ron Freeman, how are you doing? I am doing excellent, most excellent. It is an amazing day to be alive. Thank you for coming in here, sharing a little bit of it with me. Hope you are doing well out there in Twitch land. Panda crew. <laughs> panda crew. But I'm a monkey, so I, I, I can't join the panda crew. here a little more. Oh, and by the way, you guys, we have some amazing streamers hanging out here. Unico does drawing on Twitch. Proper Artist does oil paints. Give them a follow, you guys. Awesome artists in the creative section. Unico is almost at a thousand followers, so let's let's help him out. Help him out. Pack Pasilimbus. How are you doing, Pasilimbus? Uh, I do like Favism. Um, I, I prefer um, I prefer more realistic colors. Favism is fun. Very fun. Talking about proper artist. Controlling me. Controlling. JT Pen Kappa. How are you doing, JT Pen? You amazing stardust meatball, you. Thank you, Unico. <laughs> Ron Freeman, you're awesome. You are awesome. Bacardi, Bacardi Panda. Bacardi Panda, thank you for that follow. Thank you so much for that follow, Bacardi Panda. You are an amazing stardust meatball, and together in the mass of us, with our amalgamate of consciousness, we can create anything. Oh, thank you, JT Penn. Thank you for those powerful, very powerful, positive words. The reason I do this is to bring a smile to your faces, but it's also selfish. You guys make me smile too, so thank you so much for those positive words. Pasilimbus. Oh, that's awesome. You study fine art. Uh, are you a painter? Are you a painter? On uh, Friday, we do something called Feedback Friday, where you can send your, your work to my Twitter, and I will give you inspiration, some constructive criticism, and some blatant praise. Guten Abend, D2 the Ario. Was ist los, meine Freunde? One of your best viewers, Unico. Y you are my best viewer. You are the MVP for tonight. So it will forever be positive. <laughs> All right. Oh, Technotron. Man, that sucks. It actually happened to me too yesterday. Um, I was about five minutes away from ending my stream and my power went out. terrible <laughs> awesome d2 the aria that's great to hear uh my trip was amazing i had so much fun lots of music dancing lots of sun beers girls it was a wonderful weekend couldn't complain about anything 
Except for maybe the lack of internet and no Twitch. That was, that was my only complaint. You are a painter. Do you stream Paxil... Pe You're gonna have to help me with your name. Pasolimbus? Pasolimbus? I think it's Pasolimbus. I wonder if there was high solar activity, because, yeah, I read about that Ron Freeman, about them losing their power as well. It's the end of days, you guys. <gasps> Leprechaun, how you doing, Leprechaun? You amazing Stardust Meatball, you. Welcome back. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Uh, Fwater, so for the Create a Kappa, what we're doing for Create a Kappa... I'm turn my music down here for a moment. So what we're doing for Create a Kappa, it's whatever you want to do that does a take on the Kappa face. So it could be a creepy Kappa, it could be a female Kappa, it could be a unicorn Kappa. Uh, we're going to end up printing them out all out on a poster. And I really want to uh, talk to Twitch staff about somehow displaying it. Pacalimbus, thank you for that follow, you amazing starters meatball. Together in the Massiverse, we can do anything with our amalgam of consciousness. Thank you so much for being here. But Foiter, create a kappa. We're going to end up taking all of our kappas, printing them out on a giant poster. And even if Twitch doesn't want us, we're going to display it somehow at TwitchCon. <laughs> So by July 31st, make a kappa, whether it's a drawing, a painting, a sculpture, something that you blow in glass. Uh, it could be a Photoshop. We had a Photoshop um, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, except there was a Kappa Lisa. Totally awesome stuff. So do whatever your take is on it and, and make sure to exemplify your style. We don't want you to just do a realistic kappa because you feel compelled to. We want you to do whatever your style is. Oh, proper artists, you have plenty of time. We have weeks. July 31st, and I might even extend it um, into August uh, because TwitchCon's in, in September, so we need a little time to print it out, get it ready. But um, I really want to get as many people from the creative community to do this project as possible. We already have uh, seven Kappas. You guys can check them out right here. Twitch Creative. And Fwater, you can make a unicorn. Just make that, that goofy smirk that exemplifies the, uh, the Kappa. And Unico already did his. I came on the stream the other day and I was like, you did your Create a Kappa for Create a Kappa month? And he's like, what? What? <laughs> so you already did it. That's awesome. Oh, Gigi Rich, how you doing, Gigi Rich? You guys need to give Gigi Rich a follow. She plays Call of Duty. She also does stuff in the creative section with Crochet, with Crotchet. So please give her a follow. How are you doing, Gigi Rich? She's also an amazing supporter of other Twitch creative streamers. I see her in Ink One's chat all the time. Uh, where else did I see her? Was it Death Sculpt? I think I saw a uh, Poker Ranger. I, I see her all over the place. Gigi Rich is an amazing, amazing streamer as well as an amazing viewer. So thank you so much for being here. Marble Kappa? <laughs> Marvel Kappa, that would be really cool. I'm also trying to get um, the Kappa himself to sponsor this. Maybe to make like a little 30 second movie, but uh, he hasn't gotten back to me. I emailed him and I tweeted him. Mom key on strike. <laughs> doing better. Oh, that's so great. I'm, I'm so happy to hear you're, you're doing better. I know you've been getting over a cold. All right, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm gonna make the eyes a little more, a little flatter, a little flatter on the bottom. Oh, Digglebowski, how you doing, Digglebowski? Thank you for being here, you amazing meatball made of stardust, you. And hello, 
Guten, guten Abend, Mr. Oalo. How are you doing? Thank you for being here, hanging out with me. If you guys are new here or you haven't seen this before, I'm Monkey on Strike. We're working on our Create a Kappa. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll put on my Bob Ross Fro and teach you guys a little something if you want. Right now I'm just kind of playing around with color, having fun. Fart dust today? No, did I say fart dust? I'm pretty sure I said stardust. Either way, fart dust is stardust. <laughs> Trying to get the uh, shadow here a little bit. Oh, I did say stardust. <laughs> you manipulating my words. It's got a fatter, fatter jawbone right here. I think it comes up about right like that. Let me see. Welcome back, Dino, to the Massiverse. The portal is always open to your dimension. The universe has a lot of gaseous clouds. <laughs> Mr. Wallow, Kappa Pride. Yes, that is correct. Kappa Pride. We're going to have so many Kappas by the end of July. It's going to be incredible. Totally incredible. Um, 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 I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to do the eyes here a little bit. So I've got that yellow light striking from the top here. Make it a little more yellow ochre. Oh, and GG Rich, speaking of the mail, uh, I haven't sent out your uh, postcards yet. I have been super swamped uh, since I got back from my trip, so I'm going to do my best to send them out uh, this week. I will let you know when they go out. Thank you so much for purchasing them. I'm sorry you have to wait. Wait for my, my butt to ship them. And all the inter international ones as well. Yours, Dino. I gotta ship those out too. As long as it's before July. Wait a second, it is July. Awesome. Hey, GG Rich, uh, check out redbubble.com. Redbubble.com. Um, I just made a red bubble last night. Proper artist um, uses it a lot. Uh, it, it's amazing. It's really cool. Uh, much better than Etsy, I think. Because they do all the shipping for you. They do they do everything for you. Actually, it might not be, be good for yours since you do tattoo and crochet. I don't know. Check it out. Check it out. You might like it. I hadn't even heard about it before, uh, Proper Artist. I hadn't even heard about Redbubble until you uh, posted the Fall of Vertroni prints. 
Oh, the fourth hero. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining Twitch. I am Monkey on Strike, or Moss. You can call me Bob Moss. I am so glad you're here hanging out. In the creative section, there are amazing artists. Let me tell you a few of them. They're right here with us today. Fourth hero, you should follow proper artists, Gigi Rich, Unico. They're all in our chat. They're amazing streamers. You're going to love them. You're going to love it here. Guten Tag, Der Babel. How you doing, Der Babel? Uh, fourth hero, I am kind of curious. How did you find out about the Twitch creative section? We're trying to make it, uh, we're trying to bring awareness to it. So I'd love to find out how you how you got yourself here. How the portal to your dimension opened up. Oh, Anne Foiter. Yeah, Anne Foiter. Awesome streamers. We have so many cool streamers hanging out with us. Unico, you are too kind. You are too kind. If you guys want to know the trick, um, I, I really want to broadcast as much as I can. I'll, unfortunately, a lot of the times it's about two, maybe three hours at a time. So it's it's honestly, that's honestly why I give you guys all these shout outs because I, I can't stream as much as I want and I want to highlight all the amazing people that can do it all the time. I wish I could paint more here on Twitch, but my tennis elbows. <laughs> well, Foiter, if you have any questions about streaming, I only just started, but I, I do my best um, to make it a, a good environment for people, not only with, um, you know, the camera setup and OBS setup, but also with things like um, the kind of verbiage you use when you're talking to your viewers, like you want to find a nickname to call them. I learned that from PewDiePie. You also want uh, you also want to have you want to make it a show. It's 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 entertainment. So I I always look at it as I don't want to have dead air. I don't want to be sitting here in silence. I always want to be entertaining you guys. Hagrid Mona. Oh, hello, Hagrid Mona. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Oh, awesome. Well, fourth here, you are in the perfect place. If you have any questions about painting, please feel free to ask. Some days I put on the Bob Ross fro and I'll show you guys lessons, but every day I am more than happy to answer questions about portraiture, about landscapes, about abstract stuff. I also do um, oil, acrylic, and digital, so if you have any questions about other media, I'm not too good with watercolor and all those other ones, but I do my best. I try. <laughs> There's always one. There is always one. There is always one. I love making this a, a place for positive creativity, so we follow pursuits of the mind here in the Massiverse, not pursuits of the flesh. <laughs> I can't see your name. I can't see your name. The Chenti TV. The Chenti TV. Thank you for being here, you amazing meatball made of stardust. You? I'm so glad the portal to your dimension has opened up. <laughs> well, proper artists, if you plagiarize, you'll get banned. No exceptions for my regulars. No exceptions. Uh, cats, I, I, I do try to make this a positive place uh, uh, available for anyone to participate. So please keep your comments clean. 
and positive. <laughs> Let the franchise begin. <laughs> Oh, proper artist? I don't know, but it's so frustrating. It was so frustrating last week. Um, two people posted like 10 different things they plagiarized. It, it was really frustrating. I ended up spending a lot of time talking about their work. Their work. <laughs> oh, cats, you are totally fine. You, you didn't know the rules here. The Masaverse is a unique place here on Twitch. You are welcome to lurk and hang out, be your ideal self here in the Massiverse. But please follow the rules. ICMZ, I see you there. I see you, baby. How you doing, ICMZ? You guys, I need to share with you guys something. Oh, you can't see it. You can't see it. You can't see it. There it is, sort of. We got fan art. Fan art back there. Er, er. ICMZ did this amazing monkey on strike, His this monkey holding an on strike sign. Really, really awesome. Actually, let me see, let me see if I can get that up here. Nightbot.tv, Nightbot. Wall of support, that is what it is, wall of support. You guys should uh, click on the Wall of Support link and uh, check out uh, the monkey that ICMZ did and also drop him a follow. Just click his name, drop him a follow. <laughs> Hagrid Mona, how you doing? How you doing? I am doing so good. I am a tasty meatball today. It is an amazing day to be a Stardust Meatball and I'm so glad you came in here and shared it with me a little bit. Isn't it awesome, Proper Artist? I, I actually sent ICMZ an email about maybe getting shirts made with it uh, because it is, it is phenomenal. I thought, I thought, I was just blown away. I, I was speechless when I saw it. <laughs> I was just cackling to myself. <laughs> the fourth hero, thank you for that follow. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust and together in the mass of us we can create anything. I'm gonna turn down my TV volume. That is awesome to hear, Hagrid Mona. That is awesome. Because you are awesome. Thank you so much for that follow, Fourth Hero. We're gonna be doing some amazing stuff here, not just with my personal projects. This one is actually a community project we're working on. You can check out more down here. Reddit.com slash R Twitch Creative. We're gonna be putting all the kappas together into a mosaic for the creative channel. <laughs> Unico, I like you and I like that you're still here hanging out with us. And I'm always gonna give you guys shout outs if you're here and hanging out, so please give Unico a follow. I, I definitely want to use it as um, as a part of a, of the Massiverse, definitely, proper artist, definitely. It is so, so good. Oh, fourth hero, you're new to Twitch, so the Kappa... Here, we'll spam some Kappas. Spam some Kappas for him. Kappa. Kappa pride. So that is the kappa symbol, and basically what it means is sarcasm, joking, or trolling. So you could say something like, oh, there's not enough green in that portrait, kappa. And we'd know that you're joking, you're trolling. And it's, it's really popular in the Twitch community. So it's a great way for the Twitch creative community to come together to work on something that embodies Twitch. 
And it's not just like a video game character or something like that. It's it's unique, very unique to Twitch. Oh, and the Kipo. I forgot the Kipo. <laughs> What's going to be amazing about this project, too, is we already have about seven um, finished Kappas. And all of the Kappas really exemplify uh, the artist's style. Unico has a really tightly drawn, realistic drawing. Uh, Fiend made a really cool, creepy Kappa. Uh, who else did one? Uh, Z Lady Luthien did a, a feminine Kappa. <laughs> Rainbows equal uh, <laughs> equals everything. Rainbows are better than everything. I love color, so I, I agree with Water. I love the color. I don't know what Sour Please is, because it's... It's just text to me. Is it, Oh, it must be a better Twitch TV thing. I don't have better Twitch TV. A uh, proper artist that does. We uh, just made a a banner with the first four that were submitted, and in the the Reddit Twitch Creative section, you can also take a look at the the, the thread for Create a Kappa. And there's a few more in there. Uh, JT Pen, there is an, a plugin you can get for Safari and Chrome that gives you more emoticons. Refracted light always wins. <laughs> Getting all technical. Junior! Junior, how are you doing, Junior? You amazing stardust meatball, you. Now that you're here, Junior, we can we can reveal the plan. So I want to do a bunch of really fun, crazy stuff on this channel here. One thing I'm going to do is get some live music, uh, probably later this month. So there's a little hint of things to come. I'm going to have a live um, upright bass player in the background playing while we paint and hang out. It's going to be so much fun. Get more colors in here. I need more white. Technotron, thank you so much for being here, you amazing meatball. Have a great one. Oh, you'll get working on a kappa. That is awesome. That is awesome. The O with a with a little slash is basically someone waving someone waving or a high five you'll see it in uh, music streams all the time um, especially when people are playing live music everyone will, will start doing that raising their hands up in the air <laughs> all right let me get some white some purple some blue Junior's always trying to bring that creeper in here. If you guys spam that creeper emote, it might happen. It might happen. Oh, foie terre, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully we can make your life a little happier in the Massiverse. Oh, definitely, Fourth Hero. Uh, check out the, the the subreddit, or you can just Google uh, Kappa. If you just Google Kappa, you're gonna get the high resolution pictures that that I posted on there. I'm gonna get some water. 
Cheers to all of you meatballs made of stardust. Thank you for hanging out with me. You you guys are all incredible, amazing. Kevin Kevin Zarate. Kevin Zarate, thank you so much for that follow. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust and together we can create anything. Thank you, thank you. All right, going to add some highlights in his eyes here. I like purple. I do all of my eyes purple for some reason. Just just a recent phenomenon. <laughs> uh, proper artist, that would be really fun. I've, I've been thinking about getting a TeamSpeak channel uh, to do something like that because I, I want to actually learn a bunch of your techniques as well. Like I was watching Val Dudes uh, work with his um, his linseed oil, and I had never seen someone just use linseed oil before. So Skype would be a great way for us to teach each other and to and teach the viewers. All right, I'm gonna take a step back. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. So I'm gonna put, um, let me think. Oh, well thank you for the lurk, Gigi. Thank you for hanging out with us today. You are awesome. Should start a creative podcast. We could do something like, uh, have you guys checked out uh, Dropped Frames? Uh, Co Carnage started this thing called Dropped Frames, where they talk about Twitch, they talk about um, video games. That would actually be really cool to do uh, for the creative section. <gasps> Junior, you're a genius. I'm working on that tonight. Totally gonna get something together like that. Have like a one day a week where I could do like a broadcast, invite a few different people and talk about what's been going on on Twitch Creative this week. Oh my gosh. Sounds like so much fun. <laughs> canvas Killers. Oh, I actually like that. I, I like Canvas Killers. I do. Well, one thing, one thing that would be really cool about that is we can even get the viewers in there, Fuantere. Because um, the best people to talk about the creative section are people that watch things on the creative section. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of, of people who broadcast on Twitch but don't hang out on Twitch. We don't want those people. We want the people who hang out on Twitch and know all the ins and outs of each of the, the broadcasters. I do have Skype proper artist. Um, I think I'm gonna make a new Skype account though for for that. All right, I'm gonna add some white when this dries. Clean that up. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely will, Proper Artist. Definitely will. I know Miss Cookies was also trying to get a bunch of the streamers together to have a, um, like a powwow, kind of talk about where the creative section is going, uh, how we can better advertise the creative section, how we can come together as a community. So I definitely want to talk to her about it, too. All right, let me see. I'm gonna get some oranges in here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Maybe it's about art or life in general. I am here for you. Answer your questions.
<laughs> proper artist. She's she is incredibly busy and she's actually really popular on Twitch. So the the few times that I've been able to talk with her, she's she's popped her head into the channel. I actually I think she only did that once. We were able to chat a little bit. She's got you know she has like three four hundred viewers watching her all the time. Kind of hard to have a conversation with someone when there's three hundred other people. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. I'll be right back, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, proper artist. Miss Cookies is incredibly nice. She also has really great ideas about what to do with the uh, the creative section. Ah, oh, shoot. No, I saved you guys from the, ch the sneeze. Saved you guys. By the way, how is the audio sync? It should be pretty good. I, I spent a bunch of time uh, last night trying to get it synced up perfectly. It's actually been a struggle the past few weeks <laughs> to get that. Oh, ICMZ, you're doing a Kappa? That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal, ICMZ. I'm excited to see it. Are you are you doing a realistic Kappa, or is it going to be kind of the, the cartoon style that you do? Because I... I think that cartoon style is phenomenal. I wouldn't even call it cartoon style. It's stylized ICMZ. <laughs> Come on, piano man. Piano man. Next song. Squidtopia forever. How you doing, you amazing Stardust Meatball? Thank you for coming in here. Kappa is a rainbow. There are many Kappas out there. So many Kappas. Actually, one of my favorites is uh, Future Man Gaming's Kappa. Have you guys seen Future Man Gaming's Kappa? Pretty phenomenal. The, the the Kappa from Future Man Gaming is, is incredible. As incredible as Future Man is, of course. Mix of cartoon and realistic. Yeah, ICMZ, I've totally noticed that. You do, like, realistic rendering with a stylized, um, with a stylized look. I really like the style. Really dig it. Oh, you haven't seen that one, Squid. Well, there's going to be so many Kappas by the end of the month. There's going to be so many. Squid, if you haven't heard, I'm Monkey on Strike. This is the Massiverse, and this is a community project we're working on for July. Create a Kappa month. All the artists on Twitch, not all the artists, but artists on Twitch can make their, uh, their Kappas, and we're going to put them together in a, a giant mosaic of Kappa. It's gonna be awesome. Um, 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 let me get that eye popping out a little more. You do music. Uh, Squid, do you do you broadcast on the music section? If I'm not in the creative section checking out a creative streamer, I'm always checking out um, the musicians in the, the music section as well.
And if you guys haven't uh, followed uh, ICMZ, please give him a follow. He did some amazing fan art for the Mossiverse. He's also just an awesome streamer. Check him out. How complete is the painting? Hmm, let me take a look. Let me step back. Okay, so we have a few more things I want to do. I want to add some light on the hair to really get the sense of the afro. I want to get the reflected light from the right side, which is probably going to be a purple. I need the specular highlights on the, uh, the eyes, the nose, and the lips. I need to finish up the background a little bit, tighten up his neck, and then I'm done. So we're almost there. Labdian. Labdian? Did I say that right? Mr. R.N. Jesus. Thank you so much for being here, you amazing meatball. Hope you're doing well. Inkspire. Oh man, it has been a while, Inkspire. It has been a while. I've been on vacation, but I'm back with a vengeance. How are you doing, Inkspire? Uh, Squid, feel free to tweet me or uh, or send me a private message on Twitch. I don't check out links on the stream, and I don't allow them in my chat, but I'd love to take a look at it. Yeah, no no links allowed in my chat. That's for uh, to for your safety as well as mine. But please feel free to tweet it to me. Or private message me. Oh, speaking of Instagram, I got I got an Instagram just recently. You can check out the link down below. Gonna try to update after every broadcast with what I'm working on, what I did on the stream. And some fun stuff, some extra stuff. <laughs> oh, Ink's Fire, th that's awesome to hear. You had to sleep because you're supporting your awesome friends. That's that's how it works. I was up late last night watching a bunch of creative streamers. Um, <laughs> just couldn't get to bed because of all the hype. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Ink's Fire. Oh, thank you, ICMZ. I, I just started uh, Instagramming. I don't know if that's a verb. Uh, it is now. <laughs> but uh, I, I will do lots and lots of updates. Also, ICMZ, uh, check out the red bubble down below. It would be perfect for you um, since you do digital stuff. You could sell your work on Redbubble. I just found out about it yesterday. Actually, this morning, technically. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering uh, what I'm listening to, this is uh, another Twitch broadcaster, Farajen86. Here, I'll link him in the chat. Please give uh, Frajan86 a follow. Uh, sometimes he pops his head in here and hangs out with us. But he, he does piano stuff on the weekends. Really amazing stuff. Sometimes he does video game music. It's the most beautiful cafe to ever exist. Oh, thank you so much for those kind words. <laughs> really appreciate that. When you guys bring that positivity into my life, it just means that I can make your lives more positive as well. It's a reciproc reciprocal effect. Reciprocative positivity. And if you guys have any questions about the art process, maybe you're working on your own version of Kappa and you're stuck on something, please feel free to ask. There is no, there are no stupid questions about art. There are only 
There are only good questions in art. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to checking it out, Squid. I'm totally looking forward to checking it out. Oh, you have a bread bubble. Oh, oh, oh. Death Sculpt. Oh yeah, Death Sculpt is in the corner right there. <laughs> Death Sculpt is chilling. Inksfire, did you happen to see Death Sculpt's broadcast last night? Uh, I caught the very end of it. He had over 3,000 people watching him last night. So awesome. So awesome. He deserves all the attention that he's getting. And he's always so humble about it. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't know why people are watching me. It's because you're awesome. <laughs> it's because you're entertaining, you're hilarious, you're honest. Death is a really cool uh, broadcaster. If you guys don't know who that is, definitely check him out. I don't think he actually likes when I when I give him positive feedback, when I tell when I tell him that he's an inspiration to other streamers, when I thank him, he gets all uncomfortable about it. <laughs> Who's death? Oh yeah, let me let me throw it uh Mr. RN Jesus, Death Sculpt uh, does sculpture on Twitch, but he also does a lot of drawing and ink and uh, painting. He is very entertaining. Um, I would not say his stream is PG, so if you're expecting a, a, a PG or PG-13 stream, you're not going to get it. <laughs> but he is very entertaining. He's, he's very amazing. He's a great artist. He's going to do amazing things on Twitch. RN Jesus. RN Jesus, thank you for that follow, you amazing Stardust Meatball. Together in the Massiverse, we can create anything. Holy. Hol Holy Edgar. Holy Edgar, I got it right. How you doing, Holy Edgar? Oh, thank you for staying in. Thank you for hanging out for as long as you can. I'm just happy you came in here, said hello. Uh, yes, Inksfire, he was rated by, I think he was rated by two people, two really large streamers. I don't remember their names, unfortunately. I caught the uh, tailwind of that. Some more. I need more shadow on his on the right side of his face. Are these all of Unico's regulars? Thank you guys so much for for hanging out with me. If you guys don't know Unico, give him a follow. He's been doing some really cool stuff. I really like the Batman drawing he did. He did a color. Minion recently. I think it was his first color piece. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Unico. Really awesome broadcaster. Unico is a legend. Yes, he is. My third? Oh, awesome. <laughs> you you are just rocking it. I usually don't use this word, but you are talented, Unico. I, I usually don't use the, the T word, because the T word is basically just hard work, persistence, and thinking about stuff. 
but you, sir, are talented. Dino, he meant third, but it's it's his English is not his first language, so we don't we won't judge. <gasps> maybe one is here. MSY, how you doing? I keep calling you maybe one. I hope that's okay. Maybe one. Do you want me to do- I can do the rose right now if you want. Do you want me to do the rose? It's just for you. Because you've been asking about it. Just for you. If you're ready, we can do it. We can change things up. We'll put on the Bob Ross fro and I'll show you guys a little little trick to painting your own roses. Bloody Snow White, how are you doing, you awesome, awesome Stardust Meatball? Thank you for being here, hanging out with us. I have some purple. How many hours is the live stream going to be? Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to end early today. What time is it? Maybe in an hour, hour and a half. Uh, my arms usually bug me. They're actually kind of bugging me right now. I'm going to put this down. My arms bug me after about uh, an hour or two. Uh, Inksfire, have a good night. Thank you for being here, you amazing Stardust Meatball. So MSY, maybe one, either either one that I call you. If you want, I can do the rose right now. Oh, Unico, you are fine. Don't even worry about it. <gasps> Kitty Raj, how you doing? Oh, thank you for those positive words. That means so much to me means so much that you're coming in here, hanging out with me. Hope you're doing well. I started at uh, 12. We started at 12 Pacific. Oh, did I, set, did I tell you the wrong time? I think I told you the wrong time, maybe one. <laughs> Wait, it goes Pacific Mountain Central, right? I fail, I fail at time zones. But I haven't, I have not done your rose yet. So whenever you want, just say the words. And today's the day. <gasps> Inksfire, thank you for that host. I get some purples in here, lots of different colors. I get tons of these colors in here. Do, 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 do. Oh, we gotta turn this up. This is good. <laughs> I love the community here. You guys are incredible. I, I love that you guys keep coming back here, showing me that support. 
but also showing each other that support that's it brings a, a smile to my heart smile to my face <laughs> it melts my heart that's a combination of many things <laughs> So I'm getting some purples in here for some shadows. Kind of a violet. It's a purple mixed with white, so it's going to be a little lighter than just a dark purple. Spiral Void, I see you, baby. How you doing? Doing good. I'm so glad to hear that spiral void. Thank you for being here. If you guys want to learn a really, really awesome trick for drawing, painting, or anything, I love using my, my paintbrush to make sure things are level. So you can kind of hold it up to the features on the face, make sure they all have the same angle. If you have the eyes at a different angle than the nose or the mouth, it's not going to read as one plane, so that's a really good trick. Guztalus, Guztalus, thank you so much for those beautiful words. You are a beautiful Stardust Meatball. My eyes are brown. They are brown indeed. <laughs> Although it's funny, uh, with my portraits, I've started making all of the portraits I do, I make their eyes purple for some reason. I don't know why. I do not know why, but I do it. A John Coltrane. I don't think I know. Let me, I'm going to Google that real fast. John Coltrane. Jazzy, very jazzy. Yours are blue. Oh, that's awesome. Oh god. I used to have gray eyes. I mean I guess a lot of a lot of kids used to have gray eyes. I also used to have blonde hair. Oh, maybe one, we do not allow links in the chat. Even with permission, we don't allow links in the chat. Feel free to tweet me or send me a link. And by the way, maybe one, if you're ready, I can do that rose for you. In your opinion, what is the most difficult part to painting anything, uh, finishing something? Because I, I could stop right now and say it's finished, but my mind is going to always go back to the little things I want to fix, the little things I want to change. So I find the, the easiest thing to do with paintings and drawings and everything is to start something, but the hardest, the hardest thing in the world is stopping yourself and letting it be finished. Even the paintings I have in the back here, I'm still kind of painting on top of, working on, so that's definitely my hardest struggle. Uh, unfortunately, I don't trust uh, links that get posted. Feel free to tweet me, MSY. It's for my safety as well as the safety of my viewers. Latna, how you doing, Latna? You amazing stardust meatball, you. Any 
And MSY, it's not that I don't trust you, it's that if I trust you, other people are gonna ask the same thing, so I basically just say no links in my chat. But my Twitter is open for you. Proper artists, we just got we just got DDoS attacked and we got raided and uh, there was a fire. You missed so much. So much. <laughs> MSY, you can keep trying to convince me, but nope, no links in my chat. Feel free to tweet. And I check out, I check out um, links off the stream too, so I will not check that Twitter until after the stream is done. Oh, what is it? Is this Mario? This is totally Mario. Guztulaz, welcome. Welcome to the Mossiverse. Thank you for being here. Uh, I, I do make a living off of my painting. I'm trying to make Twitch my full-time thing. Unfortunately, I have a um, tennis elbow in both of my arms, so I can only paint for about two hours a day. Do my best to do my work. But, but most importantly, the art is just a way for me to kind of keep the art going keep doing what I love because it's it's not about the money to me I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret here art is actually my therapy for depression and anxiety uh, immediately when I started doing art um, again because I, I, I stopped for a while immediately when I started doing art again my depression magically disappeared my anxiety gone social anxiety gone so art is, I do make a living off of my art, but it's, it's mostly to treat my depression and anxiety. So it means a lot to me that you guys are hanging out, supporting me, just by talking with me, sharing your positive words, it means so much. Twitch is an amazing place. I, I am blown away every day by all of the amazing people on here. Consistently, consistently amazed. Awesome. Actually, so maybe one, because you're a special Stardust Meatball, I'm going to look at it right now. I'm going to look at it right now, and then we're going to do that rose painting for you that I've been talking about for weeks now. Check it out here. Check it out, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. That's great. Oh, thank you, Unico. You're you're looking good, Unico. So uh, I'm gonna put this on hold for a sec. But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my roses. Grab my roses here. Can you see that? You can sort of see that. Right. Right. There we go. All right. Let me get some red paint. Red paint. Okay. So when you're doing a rose, when you're painting anything, you want to go general to specific. So large strokes to small strokes big idea to little ideas. So what I start off with and what, what it looks like you're doing. <gasps> Goose to Laz, thank you so much for that follow. You are an amazing Stardust Meatball Goose to Laz and together we can create anything on Twitch. All right, so for this rose, go general. And since it looks like all of your roses are gonna be from the side, you can start off with a really simple circular top and kind of a, a wine glass shape. And if you want it to be a really tightly... Oh, Bob Ross Fro, fourth hero, you're right. You're right. 
All right, guys, we're gonna make some happy roses here. We're gonna make some happy roses here. So you start off with the general, the general happy shape, and that shape is gonna be a circular top, and it's gonna be kind of shaped like an hourglass. And you don't want it to look perfect like that, so what happens is you'll have the petals kind of fall off the edges here, so you have some random spots like that. And I'm not too worried about it, the, the details here. I'm using my finger to just kind of get the general shape in there. Now I can come over with a brush. Get a brush. Purple paint. So when you have the general shape in there, what you're going to want to do is start working on some of the details. Where I like to start is that top circular part, where all the petals have come together into the top there to form a circle. And it's not going to be one circle that you're just going to draw in there. It's going to be made up of a bunch of little lines. Let's see, Can you guys see that? Boom. A bunch of little lines in there. Oh, I could do it right here. I could do it right here. No, I can't. I can't. I can't because the mic is right there. He's gone. MSY is gone. Okay, well, we'll keep going with it. Um, so what we're going to do next, you can do the outline of the, the buds that are going to be on the very ends. You're going to see the outline right there where you can see into the rows, into the inner petals. And that, that part here is going to be really tightly knit and then it's going to get bigger and bigger as it goes out. <gasps> Enlightened one, how you doing? Enlightened. Enlightened rose. We're making roses right now. How? How amazing. So you can have that. You can also outline. If you wanted to just go ahead and outline your rose, you can do that. You can also do it without an outline. Make the little stem here as well. Good. I thought you were still here, maybe one. I thought you were here. So you start with the general shape, and then you work into the specifics. So we got the general shape of that rose, and then you kind of, which was like a, a wine glass kind of shape. And then you have a few of the petals come off the edges here. Yes, we are painting happy little roses. <laughs> what you can then add is you can add a light source. Let's say the light is coming from the right side, casting on the right here. So all the right edges of this rose are gonna have a highlight and you're, you're following the shapes that are already there to make this happen and that's a little too white I'm gonna blend that a little bit so we have we have the base shape we have the outline and now on top you can build things like alpacas because the, uh, every rose needs an alpaca how are you doing alpaca it has been too long too long alpaca We're working on a rose here. We're gonna get back to the kappa in just a second. But I wanted to show you one more trick. So what we did is general shape. We did outline, highlight. You can also do shadow. I like my shadows to be kind of colorful. So I use like a blue or a purple in my shadows. What wig? I, I know of no wig you guys are talking about. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the roses. Start general with any kind of painting. Start general, work into the specifics. And the top, the top of the rose is the most important part, that circular part right in the middle there where all the buds are coming together to form that circle. Let me know if you guys have any questions out there on art, painting, drawing, life in general. Put it right here. Put it right here. Fish. Do I have to get the band hammer fish? Alpaki, I'm so happy you're back. I hope you had a great vacation. 
Good morning, Alien. We have another streamer in here, you guys. Please click on Alien Ton. Give him a follow. He plays things like Super Mario uh, 64. Is that what that game is called? Mario 64? Uh, he also does Perler work on Twitch Creative section. Please give him a follow. How are you doing, Alien? Gosh, Holly Edgar, you left us. You left us. You're welcome, maybe one. I hope that was helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I can talk about your work tomorrow for Feedback Friday if you want. You're doing well. That is awesome to hear, Alien. Most excellent. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. So for my Kappa painting, I started off with a very general underpainting. Uh, I'm now working on the, the sense of light, that yellow that's hitting it, the orange that's hitting it from here, and purple and blue that's hitting it from the side. <laughs> MSY, uh, it's, it's a clinical thing. It, it's a clinical thing that's always going to be with me. I'm always going to have it. But one thing that's nice about art is that it treats depression if you'll believe it. If you believe in it, you can do anything. <laughs> and I, I'll let you guys in on a secret. I, I put on the Bob Moss hat and become a different person with you guys, with the help of, of you guys. So you guys are, are, you guys are all medical professionals helping me through Helping me through this. <laughs> you guys also give me some really good tips on painting, like things I miss. I was doing that landscape painting and, and maybe one was coming in here with... It was coming in here with some awesome helpful tips. It's all an act, Goose. <laughs> it was actually, um, it's about uh, positive, uh, oh man, I'm gonna remember this, positive reinforcement. Basically, you think about something, you wanna be something, you wanna be an ideal, and you work towards being that ideal every day. So I, I try to be that ideal person that I want to be, that happy person that paints and, and shares it with other people. So each day I try to strive to be more like Moss. And I actually had my, uh, my first birthday as Monkey on Strike. I've had the name for a long time, probably about 10 or 15 years. Um, but I started embodying the Moss ideal about a year ago, July 4th last year. I got some blues in here. I don't know why I put brown on here. Why are you on strike? I am on strike against societal norms, the constrictions of the, the corporeal world. I strive to be a monkey that follows the pursuits of the mind, not the pursuits of the flesh. I'm on strike for many, many reasons. <laughs> He's against animal testing. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop testing that axe body spray on me. It's getting old. I 
that is this one. I must fix this. If I am speaking in a French accent, it seems like I am more artistic. Pursuits of the flesh. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a weird, a weird thing to say. <laughs> Essentially, it means all I care about is is art and uh, <laughs> trying to make people people realize that anyone can do it, anyone can make it. I'm married, married to my art. Getting there. I'm actually really happy with the progress I've made today. I gotta show uh, progress shots of this because I feel like the eyes are really getting there. I'm tired of the knobs. Goodbye. If you are not a positive force in the Massiverse, you will be ejected with lasers and explosions. You do not deserve to be here only if you are a positive force. Happy, happy explosions. <laughs> Very happy. I've run out of white. But you can't say of someone that is doing art that he is an artist? That is... That is silly. I feel like everyone is an artist uh, as long as they, they try to make something. When you say, I, 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 I create art, if, if you're working in something like a perler, if you're working with perlers, you are an artist. It's just everyone's uh, interpretation of that, that it shouldn't affect you. Uh, back when I was doing digital art, um, people would say to me like, oh, that's a lesser form of art. But um, you, you really have to think of yourself as an artist because you're, you're creating something from your imagination Something that, um, it, maybe it's copied or, or inspired by another artist, but you're still expressing yourself. Ah, uh, Fish, this is my job. I, I paint for a living. I am a painter. Marsh Captain, how you doing, you amazing Stardust Meatball? Hope you're doing well out there in Twitch land. We're working on our Kappa for Create a Kappa Month. We're going to have so many Kappas by the end of the month. Yes, Digglebowski, that is exactly right. The computer is a tool that is the same as a brush. It's like when acrylic paint came out and all of the oil painters uh, started saying, Oh no, that's a, that's a lesser medium. This is a lesser medium because you do not mix it with oils. <laughs> what? That, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> How was your process? Um, this is kind of a color palette that I've, I've been developing, uh, the light sources I've been developing uh, for the past uh, month or so. All the portraits I did back here kind of started developing it. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. I editorialize this content to make it a positive place for creativity. If you don't want to be here, that's fine, I'll just ban you. Oh, maybe one, I am so excited. I am excited. I might limit the number of submissions per person though. Uh, last time we had uh, 10 submissions by the same guy. So I think maybe, maybe, Four? Let's say four. Pick four that you want to submit. Right. 
Oh, thank you, Enlightened Rose. Yeah, I, I love the blue backgrounds. Uh, blue is one of my favorite, my favorite colors. <laughs> this is fun, you guys. I'm gonna go get my band hammer. Thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are too amazing. Too, too amazing. <laughs> the large band hammers, you're right, Alpaki. I actually made a band hammer the other day. I should go grab it since I've banned like three people today. <laughs> Alright, I need to change the music. Frajan, you're amazing, but we need something more lively. Uh, fourth Hero, this is actually the first day I've had to ban people uh, for things like that. I've had to ban people for other things in the past. It's interesting, today is the day that we get the crazies in here. Yeah, Unico, you're totally right. And one thing that you have to learn as a Twitch broadcaster, you have to you have to basically smile at the trolls, say goodbye, and move on. If you get stuck in that negativity, uh, it's not only going to bring you down, it's going to bring your viewers down to a different level. So I like to make it so that we don't even have to deal with them, we just ban them. I don't even talk about them usually. They are not a positive force in the mass of us. Holly Edgar, why, why would I want you to leave? You're an amazing Stardust Meatball. <laughs> Proper artist, you missed another fire, another riot, a raid. You missed so much. I actually had to ban a few people. That's what you missed. Oh, Soda Poppins chat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There are some chats out there that are completely absurd and ridiculous. Um, I'm actually really inspired by the bigger streamers. Uh, Tiger Rider. I would say his chat is exemplary in that all the people in Tiger Rider's chat are incredible human beings. Uh, same with like Future Man Gaming. I mean, they're not, they're not big streamers, they're going to be, but they're not big right now, but their, their chats are always amazing. <laughs> Proper artist is passing out again. <laughs> Wait, there's something wrong with the eyes, let me check. Right, I think I need to fix that eye. Blue. JT Penn, I totally agree. I love the small chats. I love being able to interact with, with all you guys. I hate missing stuff. Or having people to have to, like, repeat what they want to say.
<laughs> oh, thank you for that suggestion, maybe one. Uh, one thing I really like to do is try to find that color that's going to hit um, all over the canvas. So this same color, is that's a shadow cast from the uh, yellow light. So that purple is going to be showing up underneath the nose. It's going to be showing up underneath the lips, underneath the chin. Great suggestion. Working on the eyes right now, though, because they've been really bugging me. Uh, the purple will be in other places. Yeah, you're, you're right, uh, fourth hero. I'm using complementary colors as the shadows. So the yellow light that's hitting from about three quarters view is going to cast all the purples here. Purples under the nose, the lips. I'm just trying to fix these. And same with the reds and the oranges I put in the forehead. Those are kind of placeholders. I'm going to mix all those colors around. What it's going to end up looking like, actually, is someone's going to take a, like a, a thing of yellow paint and throw it from this direction, um, orange paint from the, the side here, and then blue and purple from the right. But I need to tighten the eyes more before I move on to the other parts of painting. Where's my blue? There it is. So I'm gonna make some muted, muted purples. I'm gonna mix just the tiniest bit of yellow in there. And start a dance party. <laughs> All right, purple. Got our purple. Where's my purple? Am I out of purple? Nope, there's some. Oh yeah, yeah, so that's a really great tip, uh, MSY. You'll always see me kind of squinting like this. That's, that's because I like to look at the colors as value instead of as their color. When you squint your eyes, you, what your eye sees is it doesn't see the color information, it sees how light and dark it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. You guys are still here, still being amazing. If you guys have any questions about the artistic process or life in general, just ask. Tomorrow we're going to be doing Feedback Friday, where I take a look at your work and we give you guys some inspiration, some blatant praise, and some constructive criticism. So I'm kind of burying the purple a little bit. I'm going to add some yellows, reds, and oranges to kind of make the purple seem like it's receding into the distance. 
except I'm out of all those colors. Yellow! No red and white. And bloody Snow White, I think Unico said he's at work, so even if he's here, he's probably uh, busy doing stuff. Wasabi, thank you for being here, you amazing meatball, and for those positive words. This is a Kappa for a Create a Kappa Month in July. We're gonna have a huge mosaic by the end of the month, it's gonna be incredible. It's going to be so much fun. Alright, let me see here. Uh, I am not German. I do know how to say hello in German. Guten Tag. Guten Abend. Was ist los, meine Freunde? We had a huge raid of German speakers um, from Ralph Finger TV and Brinky Payne the other week. So awesome that the Twitch community, it's international. It's so awesome. Good? Oh, sehr good? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna add some diffused light, which is gonna be kind of a softer stroke uh, with less paint in some areas. You can kind of just rub it around till it starts fading out. That's what you want, the fade of color. light really pop out here. And I'll smudge it up when it dries a little bit more. <laughs> so, uh, Sonus build sunny painting? Sunny painting. Build is painting. Sonus. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> Someone tried to teach me how to say, uh, you are an amazing meatball made of stardust in German. <laughs> Did not work. <laughs> time is it? It's almost two o'clock. Unfortunately, my arms are bugging me, so we only have about ten minutes left here. I hope you guys stick around. We're gonna go raid another streamer here in about ten minutes. A wonderful painting. Oh, thank you. Danke. Gr Große Danke. Schon. Schon is nice. Du bist, du bist sehr schon. Alright, so I'm gonna bring more of that purple down under the lips. That's almost dry. Schon is beautiful.
How long have I been painting? Oh, by the way, goodbye, Unico. Give him a follow, you guys. Unico is amazing. Awesome streamer. So is Alien Ton X as well. How long have I been painting? Um, painting professionally about a year. Uh, I start. I took my first painting class when I was like 14. Um, but I've, I I haven't done it like professionally uh, for that long. It's been about a year. Yeah, Dino, I really like the Zelda song, too. It's a lot of good music from um, OC Remix. What inspired me to learn? Oh, I never, I never did that. Uh, what inspired me to learn? You know, it, I think it was uh, finding that 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 thing in life that finally gave me that push to create and to do things. Um, I'd be sitting in like math class or history, and I'd get bored of the topic and I'd just start drawing. I, I feel like in school that was my way of kind of dealing with things I didn't like. And it turned into a way to express myself. Uh, I do know 3D rendering. I took some 3D classes. <laughs> Thank you, Wasabi. I, I do my best. I do my best. I also sometimes put on the Bob Ross Fro to show you guys some, uh, some painting tricks and tips. We do art games. Do a lot of stuff here. And the white's just like, no, no, you can't come with me. Can't come with me to the stream. I'm gonna see you at it. I don't know why I went into a southern accent. I think you guys are from Europe, not from the south. Gonna get more of that purple. Let me see how much I got here. I got some reds. Get some white. Heart, heart, heart to you too, Wasabi. I love all of my Stardust meatballs, and thank you guys so much for being here, hanging out with me. I know my broadcasts are short. I try to make them short and sweet. And I also try to give out shoutouts to any streamers in my chat so that when I'm not streaming, you can hang out with all these amazing artists on Twitch. You are actually from the South. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeehaw. <laughs> that was not meant to be offensive. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Louisa, thank you for that follow. Thank you so much for that follow, Luizo. You are an amazing Stardust Meatball. And together we can create anything. Change the song here. You know what I need? I need a good dance song here. This is a good song to end the stream on. It's a seven minute song. It'll carry us well past two o'clock here. <laughs> Is there any 
A golden mower. Thank you so much for that follow, a golden mower. You are an amazing meatball made of stardust. And together with our amalgam of consciousness here on Twitch, we can create anything. I'm Moss. Right there. Monkey on strike, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Unfortunately, it is we are ending the broadcast here in a few moments. About three minutes here. Uh, if you guys want to join me, please get some raid hype in the chat. We're going to be doing a raid on a creative streamer. Changing the channel on you guys. A golden moa, I, I try to speak right directly to you because you mean a lot to me. The fact that you're in here chatting with me showing me that support it means so much to me and if I can if I can make you feel welcome that's that's what I try to do raid hype and for my raids I like to bring some positivity into other people's chats into their lives so I'm gonna try to find a streamer who doesn't have that many people hanging out and try to give them a little smile on their face. Iconics, thank you for that follow. You amazing stardust meatball. Holly Edgar, have a good one. Thank you for being here. Thank you for that follow. Technoxic, you are an amazing meatball made of stardust, and in the Massiverse, you have the power to create anything with our amalgamate of consciousness. Thank you for being here, hanging out with me. We're going to be doing a raid here in about one minute, one minute to count down to the raid, and that will sing signal the end for today. Not the end for you guys, we're going to be changing the channel to another creative streamer. Let's go ahead and get to that. Did that take long to remember? Right, let me see if I can do this here. You know what would help is turning on the microphone. Oh, Drift Session, thank you so much. Chris is awesome. Uh, I think you're talking about See What Happens. He's an awesome guy. If he's on right now, that might be who we're raiding. Let me check. We're going to get some raid hype in the channel. So what we're going to do, you guys... Hang on, let me try to manage all of this. Okay, guys, what we're going to say is you guys are going to say, copy this after the ellipse. That's what we're going to say, you guys. So copy that, paste it in the chat, try it out. Get that raid hype going. Oh, yes! Yes, you guys. Okay, I lied. Asha, sha, 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 sha. Thank you for that follow, you amazing meatball made of stars. Together we can do anything with our amalgam of consciousness here on Twitch. Well, I actually lied to you guys. We're not going to raid a creative streamer. We are going to raid a music streamer. I don't think this guy has ever had more than three or four people in his channel, you guys. So, guys, we're going here. We're gonna we're gonna host LP Music. Thank you guys so much for being here. Tomorrow noon Pacific, we're doing Feedback Friday. Hope to see you guys then. 
Have a good one. Drop the love in his channel. You don't have to wait for me. Just drop him some love. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye, you meatball.